Well, today we finally get started. We have about a 30 mile, 35 mile run actually. About 20 miles out to the open ocean down the river. Another 15 or so from there to get up to where we're gonna fish. And uh, I'm gonna run out there in the contender and have Jody drive the mothership. You know, this is this is a big, big haystack out here. It's, it's not like going to an aggregation site, so we'll be at it hard all week long and never stop looking at the water and just hopefully we never miss whatever does show up. So persistence, hard work. Everything looks good on this side. <laughs> bye bye. I don't think. I just do. Like an animal, baby. Instinct. Instinct. I don't bark, I bite, baby. <clears throat> Hopefully, we get it done, man. 20 days, and hopefully, we catch some sharks. We don't know what's gonna happen. Never do. And break. Two cameras on me. Awesome. Honestly, man, I'm 37 and have lost most of my memory. I have to have friends remind <laughs> me of what I've done and stuff, so this is how I'm locking my memory in. I had to take a single picture up there of the expedition in Cape Cod, and I don't even remember what happened. I don't even know if I was there. You know, the other thing, too, when I'm taking pictures, is that just taking a nice landscape and seeing pictures, it, it does nothing. If you want to see pictures like that, you can see them online. I want to prove that I was there, so I get a lot of these. Ta ting, ta ting, ta ting, to prove that I was there. Because I, I mean, honestly, we see a lot of pretty stuff, but there's nothing more beautiful to see than my face. <laughs> spot. But I know we do have front coming. I think it's going to slow us down a little bit. If the swell gets too much then that's it for us. We got to we have to wait till the swell comes down. It's too dangerous on the uh, on the shark and on the boat. Vamos. Vamos. Yeah, now we're heading out to sea, and uh, as you can see, the, the boat is starting to rock and roll a little bit. Haven't really heard how far out we're going yet, or if we're going to have internet that much, or cell phone reception. Kind of keep just telling my parents, you know, I'll be in touch when I can be in touch. At least they can follow the information that's posted online to see what we're doing every day. So, we got our equipment ready to go. Acoustic tanks, uh, vials for tissue samples and fin clips, anything for possible surgeries. You know, the last sharks that, that I was able to tag were uh, on Expedition Cape Cod with the O-Search. So, it's been, it's been a few months now and, you know, I'm, I'm ready to, to see another one and get some more blood information and, and start trying to figure out, you know, the stress physiology of these fish. We got a big, kind of a stiff offshore breeze, which is great, it's coming out of the west. It's gonna be windy, but it's offshore, so we can use that to our advantage. Well, we know they're here, and we know some of our sharks have led us here, and we know the Coast Guard's seeing them, but, you know, they're out here, they're really spread out. No one knows where they come from. Okay. If we get one shark in the next 20 days, it will be a historic moment. So we'll see what happens. 
Uh, right now, all we can do is get started. You know, the weather's going to dictate what what we can do to some extent. Hopefully, it pays off.